In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to change the theme inside of Google Forms. So why should you change the theme inside of Google Forms? Well, you can make the form more personalized and different from other forms, especially if it's being completed in remote learning, since this adds a bit of variety and difference between forms. To do this, all you want to do is click on the paint board icon at the top, and it will greet you with four options on the side, header, theme color, background color, and font style. So let's start off with the header. This will give you a background image inside of your form, and you have a couple of options on doing this. You can choose from the myriad of different backgrounds that they've got in, built into Google Forms, or you can upload one from your device or for your Google Photos. The only issue with uploading your own image is you have to use certain dimensions, which is 1600 pixels by 400 pixels. You could do this by going into Google Slides or Google Drawings, heading on up to File, Page Setup, and then clicking Custom, and where it says Centimeters, click Pixels, and just type in 1600 by 400 pixels, and click Apply, and you can add text, images, bitmojis, or whatever to make your Google Forms pop. So now, as you can see, my header has been imported and it's now changed the theme or the theme colors used. But you can also change these in the settings, which I'm just about to cover. So for your theme colors, you can choose any of the colors it's recommended for you based upon the image you've uploaded, or you can have the stock ones that it's included, but you can even add your own custom color by simply clicking on a certain point and selecting a color. And as you can see, it's changed the overall layout of my Google form. And I can do the same for the background if I want to. I'm going to keep it that color. And then the final option is your font style. I wouldn't recommend changing this one, but if you wanted to, you can pick between any of the four options they've included. But the only two I'd recommend using are basic, which is the one that it normally uses. The other one I'd recommend is playful, since these are the only two options which are easily viewable and readable. So now what you wanna do is learn how to insert images or videos inside of your Google Forms. And you could do that by clicking on the video shown on screen now. Don't forget to subscribe as we've got a ton more content just like this, and I'll see you soon.